Hey Crosswalk, good to talk to you again. Hopefully you're having a great week. I really do look forward to us having these virtual chats every week. So, if you recall from last week, we talked a little bit about Daniel and about that hand that kept appearing on the wall. It's a little creepy, wasn't it? But today we're going to move on with Daniel and we're going to learn a little bit more about a story that I'm guessing you're all familiar with because it's the most familiar story. When people think of Daniel, they think of one thing, the lion's den. But do you ever think about what got Daniel into that lion's den in the first place? Well, that's a little bit of what we're gonna talk about today. You see, if you recall from some of our earlier lessons, Daniel was put in charge of a whole lot of things but he was not originally from the country he was in. He came from the people of Israel, God's people. There were those in this country that were now not so happy that Daniel was in charge of things. But they wanted him to be out of leadership and couldn't find an excuse or a problem in order to get Daniel out of his leadership position. If we look in Daniel, which you can find somewhere in your Bible. Chapter 6 and verse 3, it said, Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. You can see, while some of the other leaders might have been just a little bit jealous, if they were considering putting Daniel in charge of everything. But they couldn't find anything wrong with Daniel. Daniel was living a life of integrity and following the things of God. So they did the only thing they could think of to do. And we find that in verse 5. Then these men said, We shall not find any charge against this Daniel unless we find it against him concerning the law of this his God. Well, how were they going to do that? Well, they appealed to a man's pride, of course. See, we as people, we like to be told how great and how awesome we are. I know I like it, but it can also be used against us. You see, they went to the king and said, Oh, king, live forever, and told the king how awesome he was, and how it would be a great idea that for the next 30 days, nobody worshipped anyone but him. Eh, that seems a little messed up. We know we should be worshiping the one true God, not some idol, or in this case, a man, even if it's king. But the king thought it was great hearing how awesome he was, so he signed a law. The problem was when the king signed a law, no one, not even the king, could go back on it. So when Daniel went out to pray, like he did every day, they were there waiting and watching, and went to the king, and said, Hey king, remember this law that you made? It's still a law, right? And here's Daniel, and he's praying to someone who's not you. You know what time it is now? It's lion time. The king wasn't too up happy with this. It upset him a great deal, but there was nothing he could do. And for those of you who know the story, Daniel was thrown into a den of hungry lions. But you know what happened? God kept him safe, and he was there the next morning. And yet again, Daniel was the reason why a whole country gave praise and honor to God. So I have a question for all of you. How many times have you been threatened with being thrown in a lion's den? I'm thinking the answer is none. But if the answer is more than one, please send us an email and let us know. But even if it hasn't happened to you, send us an email and let us know about a time when you've been threatened with something not so pleasant if you chose to follow God. And I'd love it if you'd like and follow and subscribe to our YouTube feed here. And we'll see you again next week, Crosswalk. Have a good one. Mrs. S, did you get that herd of lions I ordered for the lesson this week? We just need to get them staged right off there. Um, I think that's a really, really bad idea. I know we don't have a cat, but do you think we could use our miniature poodle to simulate a den of lions? I don't think people are going to buy that. <laughs>